When Elon Musk spoke during Tesla's 2025 Q2 earnings call, he let slip a line that seemed small at the time but is now echoing across the tech world. I think batteries are going to just going to be a massive thing. Months later, the meaning of that statement has landed in full force. The 2026 Tesla Super Aluminum Ion battery is here, built into the brand new Tesla Model 2, and the headlines are claiming this could be the beginning of the end for lithium technology. Now, aluminum ion batteries aren't some brand new miracle that came out of nowhere. Scientists have been tinkering with the chemistry for years. But Tesla's announcement is different. This isn't about a lab experiment or a prototype tucked away in a research paper. This is a production-ready battery that promises faster charging, longer range, and a completely different approach to upgrades. The question is, will this really rewrite the electric vehicle industry, or are we looking at another overhyped promise? Let's dig in and follow the trail behind this so-called revolution. There's a quiet anxiety among Tesla owners. It goes something like this. You spend years paying for a car you love, and then one day Tesla drops a breakthrough battery. Suddenly, your car feels like an old phone that can't get the latest software update. This worry isn't unfounded. The design of older Teslas, especially models from before 2021, made major battery swaps nearly impossible. The battery pack was part of the car's structure, glued in, with its cooling and software tailored to one specific chemistry. Changing it for a completely new type of battery would mean ripping the car apart, far more expensive than it's worth. But hidden inside Tesla's engineering facilities in Nevada and Texas is a plan that could change everything. Leaked service documents refer to something called the cross-platform module interface. It's essentially a universal mounting system for batteries. Instead of locking a pack into the car forever, the new aluminum ion units are designed to drop in like a cartridge, sliding right into the same space as older packs. For anyone driving a Model 3 or Model Y built after 2021, this could be a lifeline. Tesla quietly standardized the battery mounts and cooling points across all its factories. That means a technician could remove your current battery and install a new one without cutting, welding, or redesigning the car. It's the difference between a nightmare rebuild and a straightforward swap. The real magic isn't just in the physical fit, it's in the electronics. Aluminum ion cells work at a much higher voltage than lithium ones. In a typical electric car, that mismatch would fry the system in seconds. Tesla's solution is a new battery management system that can handle multiple chemistries. It monitors every module in real time, adjusting how the power electronics behave so the car thinks it was designed for this battery from day one. And because it's all software controlled, Tesla can roll out compatibility through an over-the-air update. This isn't just a convenience, it's a statement. It shows Tesla was thinking years ahead, designing a platform flexible enough to accept future battery tech without having to redesign the entire vehicle. High-performance batteries create a lot of heat. More energy density usually means more risk, and pushing charge speeds to the next level makes the challenge even harder. Tesla's engineers tackled this with a cooling system built directly into the aluminum ion battery sled. Liquid microchannels run under each module, with active heat pipes moving thermal energy away before it can build up. The result is a battery that stays below 113 degrees Fahrenheit even when charging at six times today's fastest rates. To put that in perspective, we're talking about a charge from nearly empty to 80% in under six minutes. And because all the cooling is self-contained, the car's existing systems don't have to be modified at all. Here's where the numbers make owners sit up. Industry analysts estimate a 60 kilowatt hours aluminum ion pack, enough for about 1,000 miles of real-world range, could be installed for around $5,000. That's not pocket change, but compare it to spending $30,000 or more on a new car. You keep the vehicle you already know, avoid the hassle of new insurance rates, and still get a dramatic upgrade in range and charging speed. Some might wonder why Tesla would even offer this, since new car sales are more profitable. But that's where the business strategy comes in. Retrofitting batteries keeps owners inside the Tesla ecosystem, spending money on service, software, and energy products instead of drifting to other brands. It also creates a revenue stream without building an entirely new car body, meaning lower costs and higher margins. Based on what's surfaced so far, 
retrofits may only be offered for vehicles from 2020 onward. The work would likely be done only at Tesla service centers, with strict inspections and safety checks. And Tesla would probably wait six months to a year after the Model 2's launch before opening the program, ensuring early demand drives new car sales first. If you've got a newer Tesla, the odds are good you'll be eligible. If you're driving something older, you might find the Model 2 is your path into this new tech. A lot of people hear six-minute charging and immediately imagine millions of cars draining the power grid until it collapses. That's a valid concern, especially in parts of the United States where the grid already struggles during heat waves. Tesla's answer is to take the grid out of the equation during charging. Every new generation of superchargers will come paired with on-site battery storage. These massive packs charge slowly from the grid when demand is low, then dump that stored energy into cars when they arrive. So when you plug in for a six-minute top-up, you're not pulling directly from the power lines. You're drawing from a giant battery that filled itself overnight. The truth is, most EV charging happens at home. For the average driver, a daily commute might use just a fraction of the battery's total capacity. With the aluminum-ion efficiency, that small amount can be replenished easily overnight on a standard home charger. Tesla's software already schedules home charging during the cheapest hours, usually in the early morning when demand is lowest. The ability to fast charge in minutes is there for road trips and emergencies, but most owners will rarely need to use it. One of the most interesting possibilities is turning cars into part of the power grid itself. An 80 kilowatt hour Tesla battery could run the average American home for nearly three days. If enough Tesla owners join vehicle to grid programs, those parked cars become a massive energy reserve, feeding electricity back into the grid during peak demand and charging again at night. Utilities in California and Texas are already testing this in real neighborhoods, not just in theory. It's not just about mobility anymore. Your car could become a rolling generator. This is more than just a new battery. It's a shift in how we think about owning cars. Instead of replacing the entire vehicle every time technology improves, you upgrade the parts that matter most. The rest of the car stays the same. Your seat settings, your favorite playlists, the steering feel you're used to. It's the same thinking that's made smartphones last longer with software updates and new components. The difference is, now it's being applied to machines that cost tens of thousands of dollars. Tesla's aluminum-ion rollout also highlights something else, the company's ability to connect different parts of its business. The new battery tech links directly to their energy storage products, supercharger network, and vehicle software. Each piece supports the others, creating an ecosystem that's hard for competitors to match. Whether the retrofit program is as open as some hope remains to be seen. Tesla could decide to keep it limited to push more new car sales. Or they might lean into upgrades as a way to keep millions of current owners loyal. Either way, this battery marks a turning point. Faster charging, longer range, and a path to keep existing cars relevant for years, these aren't small steps. If Tesla delivers on even half of this, it could change how we buy, upgrade, and think about cars entirely.